So we'll solve some uh, <coughs> problems related to the inertia forces in connecting rod and that uh, will solve few numericals. So as you can see one example here, it has been uh, written here the following data relates to the connecting rod of a reciprocating engine. Um, mass is given 50 kg, distance between bearings 900 mm, diameter of the big end bearing is 100 mm, diameter of the small end bearing 80 mm, time of oscillation when connecting rod is suspended from big end is 1.7 second and when it is suspended from the small end it is 1.85 second. So determine radius of gyration k of the uh, connecting rod about an axis through the center of mass and the moment of inertia. <coughs> so here you can see the schematic of a connecting rod here this is the uh, schematic of connecting rod is shown here okay so this one is the small end of connecting rod and this one is the big end of the <coughs> connecting rod okay and the larger uh, um, uh, diameter bearing end or the smaller diameter bearing end okay and this is the center of gravity point g let's say the big end point is point a and the small end point is point b having diameter 80 mm okay this diameter is 80 mm and this diameter is given to you as 100 mm okay so it is 500 here now <coughs> first let us see uh, we can mention here let this l a is the equivalent length of length of simple pendulum pendulum when suspended when suspended from big end from big end and LB is the equivalent length equivalent length of simple pendulum when suspended from small end bearing small end bearing bearing okay now mm, the time period time period ta as per our simple pendulum calculation that i have already told you in earlier classes will be equal to 2 pi root over of la by g and tb will be equal to 2 pi root over of lb divided by g that will be equation 1 so ta is given to you 1.7 second and tb is given your 1.85 second now you substitute these values in the above equation so you will have 1.7 equal to uh, 2 pi root over of la by g 
and 1.85 is 2 pi root over of lb by g so if you solve these equations you will get la is 0 0.718 meter and this lb is 0 0.85 8.5 meter okay now <coughs> the equation we have k square by a square and this is square sorry k square by a plus a is 0 0.718 and this k square by b plus b is 0 0.85 okay so from here we can have a relation that k square is equal to 0 0.718 a minus of a square and which is also equal to 0 0.85 b minus b square let this be equation 2 okay now we have from the geometry you can see a plus b okay a plus b is equal to 900 uh, plus 100 by 2 that is the radius of the big end plus 80 by 2 the radius of small end so it is 0 0.99 meter okay we can see 0 0.99 meter now we can say a is equal to 0 0.99 minus b this is the relation between a and b now substitute uh, let's say this is equation 3 so substituting the value of equation 3 in equation 2 we'll have 0 0.718 into 0 0.718 into 0 0.99 minus b okay minus 0 0.99 minus b whole square is equal to 0 0.85 b minus b square okay so upon simplifying this you will get your b is equal to 0 0.654 meter and a is equal to 0 0.336 meter okay so the k value will be k value will be uh, 0 0.358 okay. meter radius of correction so we got the values okay so now we have to calculate the moment of inertia so moment of inertia i will be equal to mk square so m is given 50 kg 
into 0 0.358 square so it is 6.4 kg meter square will be the answer so the question was to find out the radius of variation and the moment of inertia so we got it okay likewise you have to solve problems related to this inertia <coughs> of uh, connecting rod now let's say i uh, will take another question the question is uh, suppose it's example 2 example 2 because the question is here you can see uh, the <coughs> connecting rod of an engine is 300 mm long between the centers okay so from here to here it is 300 you can see here it has a mass of 15 kg and the mass moment of inertia is 7000 kg mm square remember this unit here and its center of gravity is at 200 mm from the small end so from the small end point g is at a distance of 200 mm here determine the dynamically equivalent two mass system of the connecting rod if one of the mass is located at the small center okay you have to find out so we'll see the given data first so we have l is given 300 mm mass is given 15 kg and mass moment of inertia is given 7000 kg mm square okay and l1 is given 200 mm now let k is the radius of gyration radius of gyration of the connecting rod so we can say that i is equal to mk square so i can write here that 7000 is equal to 15 into k square so the k value will be 21.6 mm okay so we will get the value of radius of correction from here now let we have a dynamically equivalent uh, system having two point masses masses let's say draw it one is here another is here let's say it is m1 it is m2 and the center of mass is somewhere here at point g this distance is l1 from the small end okay of the connecting rod and this distance is l2 this is not connecting rod this is dynamically equivalent link of that connecting rod okay now for a dynamically equivalent 
equivalent system we can say those conditions m1 plus m2 is equal to m this is equation 1 and m1 l1 should be equal to m2 l2 equation 2 and final one is m1 l1 square plus m2 l2 square should be equal to m k square okay equation 3 this and refers to the uh, dynamically equivalent system equivalent system and this side is that of the connecting rod okay <coughs> so from equation 2 we have this m1 is equal to m2 l2 by l1 okay or i can say m2 m2 or from equation 1 if i write m2 l2 by l1 plus m2 is equal to m okay or i can say that m2 l1 plus l2 by l1 is equal to m okay or i can write this as m2 is equal to m l1 divided by l1 plus l2 similarly we can mention m1 as m l2 divided by l1 plus l2 okay so we can find the two point masses here from this equation okay now <coughs> substituting the value in equation 3 you will get that l1 l2 is equal to k square if you solve so your l2 will be 21.6 square k value we have already obtained divided by this is 200 l1 value we know it will be 2.33 mm okay you can recheck i may be wrong so if i uh, got l1 and l2 i can find out m1 so m1 will be m l2 divided by l1 plus l2 so 15 into 2.33 divided by uh, 202.33 so you'll get approximately 0 0.17 kg okay and m2 value will be m l1 divided by l1 plus l2 so it is 15 into 200 divided by 202.33 so it is 14.83 kg so we obtain the two point masses of the dynamically equivalent system this is our dynamically equivalent system of the connecting rod equivalent system okay 
so in this way you can solve the various problems related to this dynamic equivalent system uh, let's solve another one suppose here you can see it is given a connecting rod is suspended from a point okay, a point 25 mm above the center of small end and 650 mm above the cg it is its mass is given 37.5 kg when permitted to oscillate the time period is uh, found to be 1.87 second find the dynamically equivalent system having two point masses one of which is located at the small end okay <clears throat> this is the question now let's say the schematic will be somehow like this okay Sch uh, schematic of the connecting rod small end large end is given and it is given that uh, that you can see uh, it is given that the uh, connecting rod is suspended from the from a point 25 mm above the center of small end okay so this is the point of suspension here you can see which is 25 mm above the <coughs> Uh, small end okay 25 mm over the center of uh, small end and 650 mm above the cg okay uh, uh, sorry this will be the uh, this will be the point of suspension now uh, given this l1 is given you can find out 650 minus 25 so it is 625 mm and we have the time period time period t will be 2 by root over of k square plus a square divided by ga this we already know so time period is given 1.87 second so 1.87 is equal to 2 by root over of k square plus 0.65 because it is given 650 m so a is given to you divided by g value is 9.81 into 0. 6, 5. so you will get the value of k equal to 0 0.377 meter ok now for a dynamically equivalent system dynamically uh, equivalent system your l1 l2 is equal to k square right so i can write l2 is equal to 0 0.377 square divided by 0 0.625 which will give me 0 0.228 meter value of l2 okay so if i draw the schematic of the equivalent system we have a mass here and another one here let's say this is m1 this is m2 point g is here let's say this is l1 and this one is l2 
so now i can find out the value of two point mass using this equation m1 is equal to m l2 divided by l1 plus l2 so uh, <coughs> it will be approximately equal to 10 kg if you calculate okay because mass is given already 37.5 kg okay so value of m2 will be m l1 divided by l1 plus l2 so it will be 27.5 kg okay. so you get the two point mass now likewise you can solve right and if you proceed further let's say another example it is given here you can see that the connecting rod of an ic engine has a mass of 2 kg and the distance between the center of gudgeon pin and the center of crank pin is 250 mm the cg falls at a point 100 mm from gudgeon pin along the line of centers the radius of gyration about axis through cg is 110 mm find the equivalent dynamical system if only one of the mass is located at the gudgeon pin if the connecting rod is replaced by two masses at one at the gudgeon pin and the other at the crank pin the angular acceleration is 23000 radian per second square determine the correction couple applied to reduce it to a dynamical equivalent system you have to find out basically the correction couple here okay correction couple that is t dash we have already discussed it so if you draw the system here let's say this is point a this is the center of mass g this is point b and this one is point d and this is the crank pin end and this one is the gudgeon pin end okay and the distance is given this l1 is 100 mm let's say this is l2 this point is at l3 distance point d from the center of mass and total length from gudgeon pin end to crank pin end is L which is 250 mm is given okay. now the given data are your mass is given uh, sorry 2 kg l total length is given 250 mm l1 is given 100 mm and k is given to us that is 110 mm alpha is given angular resolution is 23000 radian per 
second square okay now we have this k square is equal to l1 l2 okay so i can write here l2 will be k square by l1 so 110 square divided by 100 so this will give me 0 0.121 meter you have to find out a meter further so let your m1 is the mass placed at gajan pin at the smaller end m2 is the mass placed at l2 distance distance from cg k so your m1 will be m l2 divided by l1 plus l2 this relation we can use so this will give me 1.1 kg okay. try to find it out and m2 will be m l1 divided by l1 plus l2 so it will be 2 into 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.1 plus 0 0.121 so it will be 0 0.9 kg okay so now l3 l3 will be 0 0.25 minus the l1 okay from the geometry you can see so it is 0 0.25 minus 0 0.1 so it is 0 0.15 uh, meter okay uh, now let let k1 is the new radius of gyration radius of gyration so k1 square is equal to l1 l3 okay so it will be 0 0.1 into 0 0.15 so 0 0.015 meter square remember it is everything is meter so it will be in meter square so the correction couple t dash will be m k1 square minus k square into alpha so 2 into 0 0.015 square minus 0 0.11 square into uh, 23,000 so it will be approximately 133.4 Newton meter if you solve you will find this much okay so we can write since this correction couple t dash is positive is positive therefore the direction the direction of correction couple correction couple is same as that of angular acceleration okay so you try to solve one problem similar problem I'm also giving the answers. Okay. So 
can see the question is like this a small connecting rod 220 mm long between centers has a mass of 2 kg and the moment of inertia is given 0 0.02 kg meter square okay about cg the cg is located at a distance of 150 mm from the small end determine the dynamically equivalent two mass system when one mass is located at small end center if the connecting rod is replaced by two masses located at the two centers find the correction couple that must be applied for the complete dynamic equivalence of the system when the angular acceleration of the rod is given 20,000 radian per second square anti-clockwise the answer will be this okay but you try to solve and let me know the answer how much you are getting okay